Okay, on a little ride around the neighborhood here in uh, Norway. We're on the uh, stretch of Grand Traverse, east of Vinoy. Mackinac Court here where every single home became so blighted that they had to demolish it. Thing I'd like to point out this time is the condition of the road. So um, I, th I, have, I perceive that Westland has a blind spot as they're fixing other roads. Um, a blind spot to this little section of town in general, but when it comes to the roads, it's just terrible. They need to do something about it. Um, this stretch, I would ordinarily ride the sidewalk. Nice pothole over there. But uh, yeah, the road's terrible. And the other side of Grand Traverse, thank you. They've managed to fix that. Pave it over. Howdy. Uh, this is pretty rough. Looks like they may have made an attempt to patch it up a little bit years ago. As you can see, we still have drainage issues all over Norway. After any rainfall, with standing water. Whoa, that's one hell of a fucking pothole right there. Huh. Whole series of potholes on the other side. Now I do find the texture from an artistic perspective pleasing. And I've photographed it on many occasions. But uh, from a practical, pragmatic perspective, it's unacceptable. Another rough patch up here. Another good sized pothole. We're approaching a property that is in, a, in any other neighborhood, I have to think would be ticketed, sighted, something, I'm not sure. But uh, extremely cluttered with, with junk. It's like uh, <coughs> Sanford and Son property. Let's go talk to him. Oh. Hey, how's it going? All right, how about yourself? Not too bad. Got some cool stuff out here. I like the dog. It's all for seven, not the dog though. No. <laughs> Don't catch her looking at him yesterday though. Oh yeah, yeah. Driving by a couple of times. Uh-huh. Well, that's cool. Uh, do you have, do you, is this your property too or somebody no, else? It's my kids. Oh, cool. Yeah. Have you guys been on this corner for a long time then? I guess if your father and I've kids. I've been here 22 years and Oh wow. Turn my mood in and uh it's been a while anyway, yeah. Years. Yeah. Dang. I've lived in Norway for um I grew up here but I moved back uh, around twenty five years ago. I've been here since I was ten years old, off and on. Oh wow, I bet you have all kinds of great memories. Mo hey, do you remember um the creek that used to go across um Adams uh junior high? All the way down to the Rouge? That's been a pretty, I've been, um, tried, they submerged it and turned it into, uh, you know, a drainage pipe. So I've been um, uh, trying to follow, trying to figure out exactly where it went. I think I've got the whole trajectory and I caught it all on video to all the way down to the Rouge. And it's hard to get to the pieces of the Rouge because it's right, you know, it's uh, all behind, it goes through the graveyard and then so you got to hop into it. I, I think it's on the other side of Dynamite Park. If you crossed over the river, you'd end up right in that area. Yeah. 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 When you were younger, did you used to? 
You Did you start? Bring her back a long time. I thought. I know. Yeah. <laughs> my dad tells me all stories of getting in trouble down there, and oh, yeah. uh, a lot of people had to cross the rivers to get to school at Wayne High when they, uh, you know, built the new one and so forth. You used to have a swing down down here at this end, and then. Uh, the big rope. Yeah. <laughs> I jumped on it and uh, I caught both legs right here on that picnic table. To this day, that still hurts. Oh, man. Wow. Damn near 50 years later, you know? Uh huh. Still paying for that. I'll bet, yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, that was my worst memory. Yeah. <laughs> that never won't go uh huh. Away. Well, it's good to see long long term residents in here. You know, the, it seems like the people who rent don't uh, pay as much attention they to don't give us keep shit. keeping things up and Call whatnot. That, that yeah. has always you're, front of people. Oh, you're on the side of like anti S word? I said, I'm I am an too. Orwellian. Yeah, I am too. You got right to say yeah. just because you don't own nothing and never lived here. Right. Renter, so well, a lot of people always say check. Yeah. Well, a lot of people, there are, there's a certain contingency of people who have lived here and grew up here still call it Shack Town, and I'll try to reason with them and say, I understand, but most people consider it a derogatory term. Just out of respect, maybe call it Norway if you can, you know, and I don't seem to be making much leeway that way. But uh, Did you ever uh, meet Hank Johnson? From the Norway citizen. I know the name, but yeah. yeah, he's a he was the one who managed to get the get Norway declared a, um, a historic uh, district. And, I feel good saying that. I live yeah. in a historical district. It sounds cool. Yeah, <laughs> yep. I got no problem uh -huh. with that. Well, um, Hank, he's passed away recently, but he was the single. I didn't hear that. He was the single most um, influential people uh, resident of Norway down at, at City Hall. He. He's the one who's responsible for getting the roads paved, except for this one, apparently. What happened? I don't know. I was or just. Why I'm, done it? I'm videotaping the whole stretch in the Good. potholes right now to to post online. This Good. Thank you. I didn't get your permission, but you're on here too. But um, uh, if you don't want to be, I'll try to edit you out. The um, uh, yeah. Uh, every Grand Traverse on the other side got repaved. They're repaving everything else, they, but they saved the worst part. They've been uh, ignoring this whole stretch. Yeah, go down Palmer Road yeah. after in the last yep. couple of days, and Wayne Road. They finished Wayne Road up left now. Oh, now cool. Leave the worst stretch in the entire neighborhood. It's and it's disintegrated. Well, all I can think is that this little section of Grand Traverse is very low priority to them. Uh, I don't know what that well, says, you but come um, in at the fire station yeah. and you head over to the Dorsey yeah. Center, so you got a clear path. They started yeah. over at Wayne Memorial where everybody's coming in and uh -huh. down through there. And then down Dorsey, they restripe, pinstripe that yesterday. Uh huh. Yeah, just don't get That's... no notice, so they're they're not paying no attention to it. But it, it needs to be done. Right. Now, um, I'm gonna ask. A, I'm not accusing you of anything, but I've heard people complain about the stuff in your yard. Personally, I find it interesting. I mean, is this stuff for sale or is yes, it? Um... Everything here is for sale. Okay. But I've had so many medical issues lately. That's okay. Why I got so so out of oh, okay. control. Well, I'm but, glad to know the background on that. And I have a bad back, so my yard goes uh, out of, you, you know, gets out of control sometimes, yeah, too. I got, you know. I got, but I also I have horse. Yesterday, they want to do foot but, surgery on my toe. Yeah, yeah. I've had to put operate on both knees, replace oh, man. the shoulder, the back. Got a closed head under the last year, had too many. Stuff. Oh, man. God bless you. I hope things I'm, get better for I'm you. I'm lucky to be standing here yeah. talking to you as far as, yeah. as, far as well, being I've, alive. But. I have personally I have hoarding issues so it, it doesn't shock me to see anything like this because this is what the inside of my house looks like <laughs> you know? but, uh, no, I've, yeah I wondered if anybody got I've on been, you for your display of stuff I've been yeah. last couple weeks trying pretty hard to get this mm -hmm. back under control it, yeah it was out of control I mean hey get some um, for sale signs and put them out here to make it obvious. I, I did. Did they all blow away? I oh, maybe, yeah. Because no, if it was there. more obvious that stuff was for sale, uh, maybe people wouldn't well, think that there was free. just a, uh, you know, because there are the jokes about, uh, you know, Sanford and Son and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, my name's Roscoe. Gary. It's Gary. Hey, my name's Gary Roscoe Johnson. <laughs> my dad's name is Gary, so we're both Garys. <laughs> All right, well, it's good talking to you because, yeah. uh, you know, I've, I've seen your place for ages as I ride down as, here. And as you ride by here in the next few days, most of the stuff, if all if the health yeah. don't fall apart on me again. Yeah. Where are you going to put it? You got to, are you going to be able to, are you hauling it off? Mode. I'm taking the camper out here now. Yeah. This thing here. I right. Well, some of this, you, out here. if you can't sell it, some of it's scrap metal you can get money for oh, probably. I, I've scrapped yeah. uh, 15 appliances. Huh. So. Yeah. I'm trying to. 
I got too old and too unhealthy to, to do this. Oh, I get it. And I, 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 waited, <laughs> most, I don't I think most too long and let it get too far uh, out of control. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I am. Uh, I am very familiar with that. I that am trying phenomenon. to do all I can to eliminate this. Mm -hmm. Everybody says you're hoarding. I said I ain't hoarding shit. I said, <laughs> Show me the money, you can have all it. Take everything. Yeah, take, take everything. Yeah, hoarder can. won't part with their stuff. Right. Yeah, I'm parting with all of it. Yeah, so you. Yeah, goes. you're technically not a hoarder. I am because I won't part with my shit. I, <laughs> I got a. Hey, how's it going? I got a Yukon mm -hmm. and all of that. Everything else is good to go. Wow. So. All right. Well, good luck with everything. It was nice meeting you. All right, well, you take care. Be careful out there. Alrighty. Talk to them about getting their road paved here. I, I'll give it a shot. Okay, well, you know, that's interesting, getting a different view of things. I started into this critical and everything, and now that you see his side of the story, you can sort of understand how things get out of control. You have health issues and whatnot. And he's a long-term resident. Um, they managed to pave right up to here, right up to this spot. Which is a nice start, city of Westland. But uh, let's continue along the other direction, okay? Please.